In this video, we're going to look at the converse of Pythagoras' theorem. Now, Pythagoras' theorem said if you have a right angle triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, the converse of Pythagoras' theorem says the other way around, that if you have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it's a right angle triangle. And we use that to prove if something is right angled or not. So, here we've got an example. We've got a triangle here, 6 centimetres, 4.5 centimetres, 7.5 centimetres. And it wants us to prove if it's a right angle triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what a squared plus b squared is and hope that's the same as c squared. So uh, a squared plus b squared, well, a and b are your short sides in your triangle. So 6 and 4.5 are the two shorter sides. So 6 squared plus 4.5 squared. So I square those numbers and we're going to get 36 plus 20.25 and then I add those two together for 56.25. Now we're hoping that if we take the longest side C which is 7.5 and square that we should get the same and in this case we do we get 56.25. So as a squared plus b squared equals c squared then we've got a right angle triangle. Now remember we need to show that and communicate that to our examiner and we'd have to write as a squared plus b squared equals c squared then by the converse of Pythagoras' theorem, this is a right angle triangle. Here's a second example. It wants to know if this is a rectangle or not, i.e. are there right angles in each of these corners? Well, given that the length will be the sign up here and here, the diagonals will be the same and these will be the same, if we can prove that one of them is a right angle, we can prove the other. So we are looking to prove that this triangle here, 11.9, 4.7 and 13.1 is a right angle triangle. So as before, take the two short sides, a squared uh, plus b squared, see what that is. So we've got 11.9 squared plus 4.7 squared. So square those, we're going to get 141.61 plus 22.09. Add those together, we're going to get 163.7. Let's then take the longest side, 13.1, and square that, and we're going to get 163.7. So a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared. And now we need to write down our thoughts. So let me just move that up. So I would say as a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared, note that little symbol there, uh, then by the converse Pythagoras theorem, this is, there is no right angle triangle, and it is not a rectangle.